how to compress PDF files, the easiest way to reduce PDF file sizes. Hi, my name's George and welcome back to the Wondershare PDF Element YouTube channel. Thousands of people like you and me are used to working with others. So transferring files is a daily task. And I'm sure you've had problems transferring PDF files due to their sizes. What would you say if I told you that in this video, I will teach you some tricks to reduce the sizes of your PDF files so that you never have to worry about the file size transfer limitations? Sounds pretty good, right? Well, let's get into it. Welcome back to the PDF Element YouTube channel. Generally, the most common way to reduce the file size is by using a compressor. Generally, what file compressors do is split the file into fragments and then use an algorithm to rebuild it. In other words, it's like disassembling a modular organizer to store it into a box. The problem with this sort of compression is that everyone who then receives and wants to use it has to use the same software to be able to rebuild the file. Therefore, the goal of this PDF Element video is that neither you nor others need any additional compression software to get this done. And we're going to do this by following these tips. Compress PDF in one click, batch compress PDF, and reduce PDF size manually. Before we go any further, please make sure you've got the most up-to-date version of PDF Element installed on your device. You can do this by following the link in the description to get your free download. Number one, compress PDF in one click. Generating technical reports is essential for IT services, and it's no surprise that these PDFs will contain a lot of information, including text, charts, and images. This means that the file can end up being too large to transfer. IT managers are aware of this and they also know that splitting up the file is not an option. So that means that compressing the file is the easiest thing to do. Compressing your PDFs is the easiest way to reduce size without sacrificing any content. With PDF Element, you can compress any PDF file to make it significantly smaller. The best part of this is that once you compress your file, neither you nor the people receiving the file will need any additional compression software to use it. Amazing, right? And this is very easy to do. Let me show you how we do this. Open PDF Element and use the Open PDF PDF button to open the document you need to compress. Go to the tool section and click on the compress tool. To reduce the size of the document as much as possible, select the high option, click apply. Now all you need to do is save your document. To do this, pull down the file menu and click save as. Using the Windows File Explorer, choose the location where you want to save your document. As you can see, the compression has greatly reduced the size of your file. Amazing, right? I'm sure you didn't expect it to be that fast or that easy. From now on, you can feel free to compress your PDFs with just a few clicks and this will save you a lot of space and future storage problems. Now I want to show you how you can save a lot of time when you're trying to compress multiple files. Number two, batch compress PDFs. For some people, sending multiple PDFs containing specific files for multiple clients is an absolute must. This is a typical scenario for lawyers. Considering there are many email services out there, and most of them do not allow you to send files that are larger than 25 megabytes, reducing the size of multiple PDFs can be crucial. Although you already know that compressing a PDF file is not difficult, the method I showed you before is only useful for compressing one PDF file at a time. What if we need to compress multiple at once? Fortunately, with PDF Element, we can do this by batch compressing multiple files. Let me show you just how easy this is. Open PDF Element and click on the Batch Process option. In the pop-up window, click on the Compress option. Now, you will have to drag and drop the folder containing your PDFs to the designated area. Pay attention to the original weight of your documents. Then, in the Compress option section, select the High option. Choose the location where you want to save your compressed files and click apply. Now wait until this process has finished and as you can see you've greatly reduced the size of all your PDFs. Compressing multiple files was just as easy as compressing a single file wasn't it? I'm sure that from now on you won't have any problems when it comes to compressing multiple files to send them easily. Now let me share with you one last tip when it comes to reducing the size of your PDFs. Number three, reducing PDF size manually. Imagine that you want to share information related to your products or your services with your clients or colleagues through a PDF, but the file is too large and not all of the content might be relevant to your clients. This can be the case with sales representatives. The best option is to split up your document, excluding the irrelevant content and making sure they get the content that they actually need. If you want to reduce the size of your documents by splitting the document in two or more parts, then PDF Element has just the tools that you need to do this. Do you want to know how? Let me show you and you'll have it done in a few seconds. Open PDF element and click on the open PDF button and use the Windows File Explorer to open your PDF. Now go to the page section and click on the split button. In the pop-up window, choose the split method that works best for you. In this case, I'll split my document to get two page PDFs. When you're done, simply choose a destination location for your files and click on OK. Now wait until this process has finished. And as you can see, your file was split into smaller parts. I hope these tips have been useful for you. I love this tool because no matter how 
how big my files are, I can always significantly reduce their size very easily. How about I show you my favorite method for compressing PDFs in just three steps. First, I open my PDF using PDF element. Then I use the compress tool from the tool section and select the medium option, because in most cases, this allows me to keep my images in good quality and still considerably reduce the size of my document. Finally, I save my compressed document using the save as tool from the file menu and choose the destination location. Before we finish this video, we'd like to answer some of our most frequently asked questions. These are the questions that we find most commonly in the comment sections of our videos. Remember, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and they'll get answered in this section. So let's not delay and answer some of these questions. How do I compress a PDF to a specific size? For example, compress a PDF to 100 kilobytes or 200 kilobytes. When compressing a PDF, you will find three different compression methods. The high method will make the compression higher, but will considerably reduce the image's quality. In contrast, the low compression method will make a low compression, but will not affect the quality of your images. Please choose the best method for you. In addition, you can always preview the size of your PDF that it will have at the end of the process. How do I compress a PDF for emailing? Email services do not allow you to send documents that are larger than 10 megabytes. This means that depending on the original size of your PDF and the images within it, you will need to choose a method that reduces the size to within this limit while not affecting the quality too much. Once you've compressed your PDF, you can easily send the document using the button on the top bar. How do I compress a PDF file free offline on Windows, Mac, or mobile phone? PDF Element is the most reliable tool for compressing PDFs and is fully compatible with Windows, Mac, iPhone, and iPad. So I'm sure you won't have any problems when compressing PDFs from any of your devices. Those are all the questions we have time for today, but don't worry if you have more questions, drop them in the comments below and we'll get those answered in future videos. This has been how to compress PDF files. Remember that compressing and dividing your documents into smaller parts can always have advantages and I'm sure you'll find plenty of ways to take advantage of these file reduction methods. Personally I love being able to compress and batch compress my PDF files so I never have problems when transferring them. Before I go I'd like to say thank you for staying till the end of this video and remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel and if you have any specific questions go try searching the videos on our channel using the keywords that are important to you. We look forward to making more videos, sharing tips and tricks to make your work more efficient. See you next time.